Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Welcome to story time. I'm Miss Davina, and we have some exciting news that I will share at the end of today's story time. But right now, um, I just want to remind everyone that if you're unable to watch us live or you need to go back and watch it again if you'd like or watch another episode, you can always access that by going to unioncountylibraries.org, click on the events calendar, find the green preschool story time tab for today's date, which is June 29th. And when you click on that, it'll take you to the links for both our YouTube page and our um, Facebook page. But the YouTube page has the entire playlist from the past year of all the different videos by uh, topic and by date. So you can always watch that at any time that's more convenient for you. So that being said, we will go ahead and we'll get started with today's story time. Let's do our hello song, ready? Hello everybody and how are you, how are you? Hello everybody and how are you? Okay. Hello everybody and how are you, how are you? Hello everybody and how are you? So how are you today? I know, today's kind of hot out and it's definitely summer weather and there's lots of fun things that are starting to happen around the area and around the community. The berry farms are starting to open up and uh, all the different farmers things are starting to become available at the farmers market, the different fruits and vegetables. This is getting to be the big season and there's lots of different animals that we might see. And one of the animals that we might be seeing more this time of year are turtles. And this book is called A Turtle's Life Cycle. And it is by Mary R. Dunn. And this book would be called, right, a non-fiction book because it's got facts and true things that happen. So let's get started. It has real pictures too. Turtle eggs. A box turtle climbs a rock and slides into a pond. Splash! Turtles are reptiles. Shells cover their backs and bellies. See that? And he's not even really green, is he? He's more brown and orange and he's got all different kinds of stripings. Box turtles live in woodlands and meadows. Females need sandy soil for a nest, and they dig many hours to make a nest for their eggs. So you might see that along the rivers and along the beaches of the lakes and ponds in the area, maybe out of halfway dam. Females lay six to eight eggs. They cover their eggs with soil. Soil keeps the eggs warm and wet until they hatch. And look at that. I think I see one, two, three, four, and there's others under where you can't really see it. And look at the pretty design on the shell. In about three months, the turtles hatch. Hatchlings, that's what they're called, have an egg tooth on their beaks. They use it to break their shells open. See, he's got called an egg tooth and that's his beak and he uses that to break open his shell so he can get out. Hatchlings can take two or three days to break their shells. Some hatchlings stay in the nest and others crawl away to see the world. How big his eyes are. And then, oh my goodness, look at that one. What's he have? Yes, he has a worm. Hungry young turtles eat during the day. They like worms and slugs. Turtles do not have teeth. They crunch snails and insects with their jaws. So they might be good to keep in your garden so they could eat all the snails and slugs. In cold weather, turtles cannot find food, so they stop eating 
and their hearts slow down. Many turtles hibernate underground for winter. And remember we talked about hibernation and so in the winter time they sleep. Look how orange, orange his shell looks. And see how he's tucked up in tight? That's how they sleep. Now adult turtles can, adult box turtles, there's all different kinds of turtles, but this is a box turtle. Adult box turtles can grow to four to six inches long, and many box turtles live to be 50 years old, so that's a long time. Male turtles fertilize the eggs. Females look for a safe place to lay their eggs, and the life cycle starts again. So remember, it's a cycle. That means it goes in a circle. So it starts with the eggs and the hatchlings and uh, the young turtles and the adult turtles and they lay their eggs. So there's, that's what's called a life cycle. So that was the life cycle of the box turtle. And like we said, there's all different kinds of turtles. But my song that I have for us right now, it says, I'm a turtle, and it goes to the tune of Alouette, Janti Alouette. So it goes like this. I'm a turtle, yes, I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle, I live in a shell. When I want to go to sleep, I pull in my head and feet. Go to sleep, go to sleep, head and feet, head and feet. I'm a turtle, oh, I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle, I live in a shell. So remember, this is the sign for turtle. So you take your thumb like this, and you stick it out, and you put your hand over it like that, like the shell. So you've got the head of the turtle sticking out. I'm a turtle, yes, I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle, I live in a shell. When I want to go to sleep, I pull in my head and feet. Go to sleep, go to sleep, head and feet. Head and feet, I'm a turtle, yes, I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle, I live in a shell. Do you live in a shell? Oh, I don't think so. Some of you live in houses, some live in apartments. Sometimes in the summer, people live in their campers or they go, they camp so much in tents and, and things like that. There's lots of different things that you can do. So my next book is called Turtle Splash, and this is a countdown book, right? So when we count down, what do we do? We start at a high number and we get lower. So what number is that? 10, 10 timid turtles lounging in a line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, startled by a bullfrog. Uh-oh, one dropped down. Then there were nine. Nine napping turtles. The day is growing late. A rabbit rustles in the leaves. Now there are eight. Eight lazy turtles resting without a care. A red squirrel scampers by the log. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh, so squirrel, squirrel, like the teeth, squirrel. So the squirrel comes hopping by and uh-oh, one of the turtles jumped in. So if we're going lower, we have eight. Oops, where is the book? We have eight, so now how many are left if one went away? Yes. Seven. Seven. Oh, that's eight. Seven. Seven still are there. Seven sleepy <gasps> turtles. Hear the crunch of sticks. What's coming? Oh, dear. Up here. Beside the shore, now there are 
six. Six sunning turtles watching ducklings dive. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at the ducks. How many ducks are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ducks. Watching ducklings dive, the mother mallard quacks at them. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, there goes one in the water. Now how many are left? Then there were five. Right. Five idle. Idle means they were, weren't doing anything, so they're just sitting around. Lolling by the shore. Hollywogs swirl by their log. And look, there goes one in the water. Now there are four, four drowsy turtles playing as can be. A butterfly flutters by, leaving only three. Very good. There are three carefree turtles beneath a sky so blue. A chickadee chirps in a tree. Then there are two. Two silent turtles watch the setting sun. Mosquitoes buzz above their heads. Now there's only one, one lonely turtle. Oh, he's all by himself in the fading light. Splash! <gasps> Ten tired turtles settle for the night. Look, they're all under the water. Let's count them. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tired turtles sleeping in the night. Let's count down, ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Sleep tight. Good night. So there were 10 turtles. Let's go ahead and we'll count from one up to 10 and then we'll count down from 10 to one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now let's go from 10 down to zero. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Very good, that was wonderful. Thank you for helping Miss Davina sing, uh, count our turtles. Remember turtle. So my song that I have for us is I'm a little turtle and it's to the tune of I'm a little teapot. Oh, so slow. I wear my house on my back, you know. When it's time for me to go inside, I tuck my legs and then I hide. I'm a little turtle, oh, so slow. I wear my house on my back, you know. When it's time for me to go inside, I tuck my legs and then I hide. So wet turtle. And where do you wear your back if you're a turtle? On your, or where do you wear your house is on your back, right? That's your shell. And you tuck in your legs. Can you find your legs? So you can tuck down in a ball. So if you're standing there, tap your legs and tuck down. So ready? I'm a little turtle, so slow. I wear my house on my back, you know, when it's time for me to go inside.
side, I tuck my legs, and then I hide. So good night, turtle. Good night. He goes bye bye. Good night, little turtle. So what did we learn about turtles? They come from eggs, and do they stay awake during the winter time? No, they don't stay awake during the winter. They sleep, and what is, what, remember we said they stop eating, and their heart gets really slow, and they go to sleep. They pull in their heads and their legs, and they go to sleep. They call, it's called, it's a big word, hibernation. Very good, Zane. That's right, they hibernate in the winter time, and then they come back out in the spring, and they lay eggs. And do they lay eggs in trees, in trees, Ness? No, that's right, JJ. They lay eggs in the ground, in the dirt, and they like the sand by the, um, the box turtles especially, like the sand where? Along the, along the ponds and the creeks and things like that. That's right, and that's where they lay their eggs and they cover them with dirt to keep them warm and wet. And then when they hatch, they're called hatchlings, right? And then they're young turtles and they eat. Do they have teeth? No, they don't have teeth. And they munch their, the worms and the snails and the slugs with their jaws. And, it, and then they get, they're an adult turtle. And then they lay eggs and eggs get fertilized and more turtles are hatched. And it just starts the cycle all over again. So that was our stories about turtles that we had today. And in the uh, description link, when we put uh, this up on our YouTube channel, you'll find these books and many other books on turtles. And there will also be crafts and activities available there. So you can find our YouTube playlist by going to uniondcountylibraries.org, click on the events page, and then find the green preschool story time tab. And when you click on that, it'll give you both the links for our Facebook page and our YouTube playlist. And that should take you directly to the preschool story time playlist. And in this, for today, if you click on that little arrow or the little, up, the little B, that will take you, it'll drop down and it'll give you all the different activities that go along with turtles in our story time today. But if you remember and you were watching from the beginning, Miss Davina said she had something exciting to share. So next week, that's the first Tuesday in July after the 4th of July. So we, we have the 4th of July on Sunday, the 5th is Monday. So July 6th, we're going to have our first in-person preschool story time in our new program room here in the children's, the new children's library. I know everybody's been so excited and ready and waiting to see it. And this is where we're going to have in our, here in our new program room, but you'll be able to be here in person. And I am so excited to see you boys and girls in person and be able to talk to you and hear you talk back to me and hear you sing along with me. So I'm really excited and we'll have crafts and activities to do at the end of story time like we used to do. So I will see you all next week at 10 a.m. here at the library. So we will go ahead and we'll sing our goodbye song. And remember we can wave like this or like this, it doesn't matter, ready? We wave goodbye like this, we wave goodbye like this, we wave goodbye to all our friends, we wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands like this, we clap our hands like this, we clap our hands for all our friends, we clap our hands like this, yay! Thank you, I can't wait to see you next week. Have a happy 4th of July Independence Day celebration and with your family and your friends. And I will see you on July 6th at 10 a.m. Bye.